checking in from Prague on June the 1st, 2009, and um, it's about 10 past 10, and I'm walking through the towns of, or to the streets of Old Town. This is a very unique way of, of begging that I've never seen before on hands and knees. Uh, but at any rate, the streets are hopping right now. People are just walking through and enjoying a nice warm evening. Lots of young people, middle-aged people, older people, people of all ages. And I think I am about to reach the one of the main squares in Prague and I wanted to catch that for you at night because it's just such a beautiful environment here very unique architecture these are some of those gothic houses this is the famous astronomical clock I think the name of this place is Old Town Square and here is the Church of Our Lady. I never can think of the Lady Beside Tin or something like that. T Y N. I can never think of the name of this place. But Prague is a very exceptional, unique city. Very unique architecture. Great to look at, tons of outdoor restaurants. Let me give you a walk around here. I really enjoyed the beer hall actually. The manager, Milan, was a very nice, open guy. We talked German with each other. He didn't really speak all that much English. He served, up, served, served us up all sorts of Czech um, dishes. And um, the restaurant is also a microbrewery and brews two different kinds of beer. One beer is about is a regular beer, 5% alcohol, and the other one supposedly is the strongest lager beer in the world with about 12.6% alcohol. And they only brew 200 liters of it a month. And he let me taste it. And I'm not usually a beer drinker at all. As a matter of fact, I don't really drink much alcohol in general. And it was really nice. It tasted really kind of sweet. It's a malty, dark beer. And he was explaining that usually the men drink the lower alcohol lager and the ladies drink the higher alcohol malt beer. So I wonder why that is. It must be an interesting trick. But this is an image of the Old Town Square, right in the heart of Prague. I was um, given the information earlier today that this Gothic house, um, I think, used to house some royalty in earlier times. And there's probably all sorts of different different uh, architectural styles and epochs represented here. A big sculpture here in the middle. And then uh, the Baroque church right here and a look back at the old city hall of Prague. What an amazing city.